Google Reader is gonna die and there's not a damn thing you can do about it. Last night, Google unceremoniously announced the sunsetting of Google Reader, Google's in-house RSS feed reading app on July 1st, and the blogging community lost their effing minds. I'm as mad as hell, and I'm not gonna take this anymore! Twitter and tech blogs exploded when the news hit, and within hours, petitions were springing up, begging Google to keep Google Reader alive. But as Google stated on their blog, usage of Reader had been in a steady state of decline, so instead of pouring time and energy into a dying product, they've decided to focus on other projects. But that's not to say internet petitions like these are in vain. Last year, a small, very vocal minority of gamers begged BioWare to change the ending of Mass Effect 3. BioWare acquiesced and changed the ending three months later. But even if Google does stick to their guns and sends Reader off to join the other failed Google products like Buzz and Wave in the internet graveyard, it doesn't mean you still can't get the same Reader experience from non-Google branded apps. Like Feedly, for example. Feedly is a similar RSS reader but offers a magazine-like experience. Not a fan of the slick magazine look? Feedly also offers a safe and familiar Google Reader headline listing interface. And although Feedly coincidentally relies on Google Reader's API, Feedly insists they'll have their own version in place by the time Reader shuts down in July. For a more Instagram-esque approach, Pulse displays your feeds as photo tiles. Click on a picture and the corresponding story pops up onto your screen. Adding feeds to Pulse is similar to Reader, but it doesn't have an option to import your existing feeds from Reader. Yet. But on the plus side, Pulse does have a really slick mobile app, so you guys got that. And finally, if you absolutely hate change, the old reader is the alternative for you. The old reader claims to be the ultimate social RSS reader, saying, it's just like the old Google reader, only better. And that's not just a bold claim, the interface is pretty much the same and will let you import all of your feeds by logging in with your Google account. But it doesn't have a companion app, so if you want to read it on the toilet, you better bring your laptop. How have you been mourning the loss of Google Reader? Let me know how you're coping in the comments, and as always, subscribe to the channel for more tech feed. And uh, guys, Annie will be back later tonight to give you all the latest news coming out of the Samsung Galaxy S4 press conference. So stay tuned for that. It's gonna be like a sexy technology slumber party. For TFN, I'm Scott Bromley saying nobody ever invites me to sexy tech slumber parties. Ever. because I fart in my sleep. Also, I sleep in the nude. It's not a lie.